Hey everybody, A.D. Wheeler here, and I thought I'd take a, just a few minutes here at the end of the year and talk a little bit about my favorite things from 2015. All right, 2015 was awesome, and uh, I got to do a lot of traveling around uh, the United States, and uh, that was probably a, a favorite thing, but this is going to be more a, about kind of like tech stuff. So um, probably um, one of the things that I got this year that I really enjoyed was my Samsung Gear watch. Um, it does pretty much everything that uh, a normal watch would do, and then it allows you to remote control your phone. It's actually a phone itself. It has its own phone number. Um, only five bucks on Verizon to add this to my plan, which was really cool. Um, here's a closer look at that, and I'll, I'll put up some pictures uh, to go along with this. Uh, really awesome, but you know what I found that I like the most about this? Is it's a watch. Yeah, it's crazy, I know. But um, yeah, so the Samsung Gear, uh, S, uh, Samsung S Gear, I think it's called. Um, anyways, check it out. They have a new version, the Gear S2. Um, but smartwatch, I really like it. Goes great with my S5 phone, um, and it'll upgrade when I when I go to my S6 or or whatever. So awesome. That's my first item right there. Um, probably second awesome find uh, on my list this year. And this is weird stuff, but. Um, uh, is uh, this graphics tablet that I picked up from Huon. Um, so I, I can't afford a Wacom tablet uh, right now because the one I want is like $2,500. Um, so I just wanted something that I could use for uh, whenever I'm doing compositing or anything like that. And uh, this tablet, uh, it's 79 bucks, And it's huge, as you can see. Um, it, it's awesome. It, it works really well. It's very accurate and very fast. Um, it's native on Windows 10. They have a little applet that you install. But anyways, check this out. Uh, if you want to add a graphics tablet at a great price, uh, this has got 8 gigs of memory and it comes with a micro SD 8 gig card. Uh, it is plugged in, so there is that. It's not wireless, but all these customizable buttons on the top, uh, I have them set up for when I use this in Photoshop, I use them to enlarge the brush or make it smaller or to move the canvas, all that kind of stuff. So right there, Huon, good stuff. Um, let's see, third on my list, uh, and it's going to lead to my last two things. Um, when I was in California, I picked up this vintage uh, Zuko Olympus OM Systems 35-105mm uh, to 105 millimeter lens for 85 bucks. This lens is so sharp edge to edge. Um, and, you know, it's manual focus and all that kind of stuff. It's got the cool, uh, yeah, it zooms kind of cool. But, uh, and it's a macro lens. Uh, just awesome. You can buy these cheap on uh, Amazon uh, and eBay. So check them out for sure. I'll put, a, I'll put a link to all this stuff actually down in the description down here. Um, it's with my Amazon link. So if you buy anything, if you use those links, it helps me out. helps me keep the channel going. Um, okay. And um, one of my final things is my new camera yes um and i i don't usually tout this sort of stuff very much but i did want to talk a little bit about this, this is the new sony a7r2 and i don't work for sony um i wish i did that would be cool but i think the greatest thing about this camera uh, for me is it gets the camera out of the way of creativity for me uh, so while you still you know i run it in manual and i do all that stuff but i think the th the cool thing is is this camera sparks my creativity. I think that's the greatest thing about it. It's got cool features like Wi-Fi and I can share as I shoot and all that kind of stuff. But the the ability to use these vintage lenses like the one I bought for 85 bucks and look great. Um, I have another one here that I just picked up. This little 28 millimeter Olympus. Really cool. Um, by the way, that sneaks in on my favorite things of 2015. But uh, the fact that this is like an erector set for uh, photographers I think is the most awesome thing you can go deep with it you can do every adjustment you could possibly want in your camera any DSLR or you can just kind of use it for what it is um, and use some of the the features that it has built in so um, the greatest boost to my creativity besides my last item was my a7r2 this year awesome camera and I love it okay um, final thing it's not really a tangible thing. Um, it's the Arcanum. And I, you guys have heard me talk about this before, but the Arcanum is awesome. Um, I can get you a free month if you want to try it out. Um, 
there's going to be a link down below that you can click and I can send an invite to you and you can check it out. Um, it's full of people that are creative and have one basic goal in mind and that is to uh, help other creatives and learn themselves. And that's such an amazing environment to be in. Um, in a world where you know he said she said and and this guy's doing that and this person's stealing my business it's full of creatives that are working together which I think is where its biggest strength is uh, and it's a, a nice open environment uh, for learning so if you're a photographer or any type of artist uh, it's not just photography by the way uh, they're expanding into different realms but right now it's just photography but uh, if you want to learn about to simple just Getting more creative, the Arcanum is definitely something to check out. It's not that expensive. It's 79 bucks a month. And uh, seriously, for the type of education that you're going to get, if you look at that for a year, um, you're, it's, a, it's a steal. It really is. So check it out. This is my favorite things from 2015. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to 2016 with you guys. Uh, and like and subscribe, uh, if you would, on my YouTube channel. That always helps, for sure. All right, guys, have a happy new year, and we'll see you next year.